Hey y'all. I'm gonna wait for a little bit for people to hop on because I know usually it takes forever for live chat to pop on. Hey, hey, hey. Happy Friday, everybody. Hey, Rage. I can't believe it's Friday today. I didn't even know what day it was. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. I'm going to start inviting some people as well. So y'all bear with me. Feel free to invite everybody. I'm definitely gonna make sure I respect your time because it's Friday evening. But I just wanted to share my love for you guys. Just inviting like mad right now. So if you're on here, let me know if you can hear me okay. And please feel free to invite people so they know that I'm hopping on. Alright, we will wait to have people hop on. Hey, Amanda. Is it nice to see me in the flesh now? <laughs> hey, Rach. Hey, hey, hey. I seriously wrote down some notes because I'm also hosting a call later on today. And I like to have the information in front of me so I'm not, like, trying to figure out what I need to say because I ramble sometimes. So I like to keep it consistent. Yes, everybody, please feel free to invite who's currently on. I definitely want to make sure that everybody can get on if they can. We currently have three people, so I at least want to wait till we hit about 10 or so. Ooh, we're up to four. That's so exciting. Hey, everybody who's joined. I hope y'all are having a great Friday night so far. Again, I'm going to keep this not super short, but short enough for a Friday because I know y'all probably have plans tonight, and I want to make sure I respect your time. Holy moly, there's a lot of people in this team. Zoe, quiet please. Come here. Relax, you're fine. Sorry, my dog's barking a little bit. Good girl, you're fine. Aw, girl, thank you. I still can't believe we met and had such a long conversation today. Who else do we have with us? I can't see. We have Rach, Amanda. Ooh, we're up to five. I want to introduce y'all to my little pup. If I don't hit her head on my desk. This is Zoe. We like to match. We like to wear pink together. <laughs> But she loves being with her mama, so she's excited for us to be here today. Right, Zilvo? Right. You a good girl? Yeah, you're a good girl. Okay. You want to go down for mama? Yeah? Be careful. Don't hit your head. Here, let's go over here. All right, perfect. Ah, Jazzy. Hey, Jazzy. <laughs> That's awesome. I totally have, like, puppy dates over the phone with my family. Hey, Kristen. So good to see you. I hope you're having a great day today. We're just going to wait for maybe a few more people to hop on, so I apologize if this is taking a little bit of time. I just want to at least maybe eight people to hop on, so I appreciate y'all being here. And this light, I'm not going to lie, is super, super bright. But I was like, my there's always glare on my glasses every time I do stuff, so I'd rather have my face be brighter a little bit, but we might actually just get started in a few minutes. 
yeah why don't we go ahead and get started right it's Friday let's get started okay so if y'all don't know me my name is Ashley Junai um, I have been a Plexus ambassador for about two and a half months yeah about two and a half months now um, I started actually back in April um, I'll make my backstory a little bit short I was actually with a different MLM and I earned a trip, but I was taking my Plexus products while I was on that trip, and these products have changed my life. And uh, for myself personally, I love these products and I wanna bless people forward with these products. But I also know that this business is incredible and is life changing. So I wanna share with you guys just a little about, you know, how I built so much trust um, in such a short time. I currently have, Oh my goodness, I think I have 38 in my level one, um, or maybe 38 total, 40, I don't know for sure. But there are a ton of people and just such a blessing to work with so many amazing people. Um, so I personally have built a network for the last three and a half years with my other MLM. So if you're just starting out and this is your first journey, you're, I mean, anything is possible. So don't limit yourself to the opportunities that you have before you. Um, this is a learning opportunity for all of us to work together and better ourselves. So please don't think that you um, can't do anything or that things are not possible because they are. So uh, regardless if I've been doing you know a different company or I was for three and a half years does not mean that you cannot inspire this many people to join too so I'm excited to see how your businesses take off as well so for me personally um, I am big about authenticity I think it is so huge ah you started in April too that's awesome I love it um, but yeah, like I said, authenticity is huge. Being yourself. Um, these products personally have changed my life, so I love sharing it forward just as much as I love Target. I'll talk about Target. So when I personally talk about things on my page, that's how I feel that if you are spreading the love about something you care about, it's okay to talk about. You know, I'm not making money for Target, but I'm sure gonna make money off of Plexus because I love these products. So do not feel bad when you post about these things. Uh, for me, I keep my posts very personal. I don't necessarily talk about product. And this is just something that has really worked for me. And it's not a bad thing if you're posting about the product. I think knowledge is power. But for me personally, I talk about myself. And I talk about my struggles that I was going through. I talk about the successes of how uh, these products have helped me, whether that's from being super bloated and I looked pregnant because that's how bloated I was to not be and not being able to eat gluten to now being able to eat gluten and using my products and feeling good at the same time and finding that balance I really, really cared for and wanted this whole entire time. So that's something that has always worked for me. So doing personal posts. I also don't like posting about prices necessarily in my posts because if you see prices, sometimes that draws people away right away versus finding out more about the products. So for me personally, again, I don't post that. If it works for you, that's perfectly okay, but this is just what has helped me. I also like to talk about my customer successes. So when I first started out, like I said, I didn't do my first post until May 6th-ish. Um, I started beginning of April as a customer and I was just like, hey, you know, I finally found something that was working for me, you know, as that I've been struggling with my weight for so long, so it's so encouraging that I finally found something that worked. And I, my post went viral on my page, and I didn't expect it. I was so scared to press that button. Sometimes it's scary, especially when we post transformation posts or if we post something that's really personal to ourselves. But what I have learned is that it draws people closer, that you're being, you're willing to be open and honest about your journey and your struggles, and it's a connecting point. And not a lot of people can do that. I mean, it took me a long, long time to ever post a transformation post, and it still is hard for me. But I've learned that more people connect because they, you're showing your struggles to the face, because let's be real, Facebook can be a highlight reel sometimes. So I think it's really, really important to do that. Also for me, I like to talk about balance, that I finally have a balance in my life that I've been missing for such a long time. 
I mean, people do different sorts of things to create the balance that they need in their lives. A lot of people do Whole30, people do macros, people count containers, people find what works for them. I personally do like an 80-20 rule because I'm going to have bluebell ice cream. And when I go back to Wisconsin, I'm going to have bricks. You know, I want that balance and I want to show my network and my people, my family and my friends that I'm going to treat myself. Life is too short not to. And that's just what I love and what I believe because life is just so short. So... Again, authenticity, doing personal posts, doing customer successes and sharing their successes. Um, If it is a transformation post, I would ask them out of respect if you can use it because I know how hard it is for me to post and I offer, hey, I can cut off your head so that way nobody knows who you are, but I want to share this because I'm so proud of you. Um, For me, in my daily activities, I usually do one business post minimum a day, and then I do three personal. So one to three, because I think it's so important that you tell people about this. Not necessarily that it's blogging down their news feed, but sharing your heart, sharing your love. Business posts can mean, you know, maybe your Plexus paycheck was incredible. You were able to pay off, you know, I was able to pay off how many bills off my Plexus paycheck and being able to bless this opportunity forward. So sharing that or to customer successes or my successes. Um, I think also when it comes to business, we get, sorry, I'm reading off my list to make sure I'm staying on track. Um, I know we all struggle sometimes to get people to stick to it. Who has had a problem with someone not doing a convenience order right away? Anybody? Any like buttons or angry buttons or sad buttons? Have you struggled that someone didn't sign up for their convenience order right away? Maybe. Maybe I'm the only one? (laughs) No? Okay, well, I know I personally have had people who don't sign up for the convenience order right away. And that's really, really hard, you know, because you're like, I really want these people to sign up and I want them to stay consistent, right? So for me, uh, I make them send me a screenshot before they submit their order. Sometimes it just doesn't happen, but I try to be as proactive as I can so that way I can see that they have their order and that they also have their convenience order on. This is something that's helped. So, um... Why do they need to? Because it doesn't always take only 30 days for these products to work. It's so great to be consistent, and that's a great point, Crystal. So for me, um, my upline, Ashley Olsgaard, she talked about using your Plexus products for only a month. You may see great changes, but if you don't continue, it's kind of like brushing your teeth. So you brush your teeth so you don't get cavities and you have great you know, dental health and that your gums are good, your teeth are good. But if you stop brushing your teeth, aren't your gums going to get bad? Are you not going to build up plaque and stuff? This is just like these products that you want to consistently use these products to feel good. And for me personally, it took me over 30 days to get success. It took Ashley 60. It took Rachel, you know, three months. And it's about that consistency because sometimes it takes longer for us to detox our bodies for everything that we've put in our system. So it's so important for people to try at least for those 60 days for that 60 day money back guarantee because it takes time and it takes consistency in having those products in our system, you know, checking on our nutrition that we're having. It takes time. So it's just really, really important and you don't get your money worth yes and you definitely don't get your money worth if you only join for once so yeah it's great if you maybe lose a couple pounds but then if you get off track again I mean your gut is also going to keep those toxins in your body so consistency in taking them is super important just as much as it is to drink your water all those kind of things so for your convenience order like I said I have them send me a screenshot Um, I offer to fix their CO for them in the back office. So if they can give me their username and password, I'll go ahead and check it on so they don't have to worry about it. Uh, This has helped especially for numerous people that didn't get it. A lot of people who do more the mobile order, that I personally have felt that is where some of the disconnect is because I feel like it doesn't pop up. So, excuse me. Um... I definitely ask them if I can go, you know, sign up for them because they want to make sure that they do it for 60 days and make sure they're consistent. And yes, we don't want them to run out because honestly, doing detox twice is not fun. And it can take some time for it to happen. Um, And like Rachel said, 
three months and then even bigger changes six months later. Just as much as if you stick with your goals of working out, eating healthy, those kind of things, it all goes kind of hand in hand. Also, I would say um, three-way chats have really helped me in building with my team. Um, if anyone knows April Onsinger, she's one of my amazing ambassadors that I get to work with. We started out having three-way chats right away. So if people want their products for free, um, we definitely are talking about this more with my group right now that, you know, if you want your products for free, let me know. I'd love to help you. And this is where we say, hey, you want to, you know, join us. We It's more the merrier. We want to make sure that you feel great too. So that has been an awesome building opportunity because who doesn't want more friends to help them, right? Like I want all my friends on this journey with me. I'm feeling amazing. I want all my friends to feel amazing with me. And last but not least, um, creating an amazing team environment is so crucial. Uh, keeping it personal. I reach out to my people either daily or weekly to make sure how they're doing, staying consistent, if they're having any problems, how I can help them. That personal relationship for me is amazing and super huge part of my business. I also have my own separate team page. You do not need to do this, but I personally do because I have so many people that I was blessed with in this last month and a half that I want to make sure that I stay connected with them. So um, I personally reach out. We also have them post in the group, you know, a selfie with their pink drink. Um, we have different contests in there. It just makes it more fun, especially when you have other people on this journey. It also is, I have found it good for people who are detoxing and need that extra motivation because let's be real, not everyone's going to lose two pounds in a week. Um, not everyone's going to get it done in a month. So having that relationship building is awesome and it's also building a really good team environment. So uh, my team is personally called A Tribe Called Hope and it's that hope that we are going to be life-changing in our own lives and help each other. So it's a great environment. So for me, I would suggest that if you are not plugged into this team page, get plugged in, be supportive, love on each other, help each other out. That's going to help your team explode too. Because if you're not duplicating, you're not building a team, right? And who doesn't want this? Tell your love, share your love, be personal, do all those kind of things. So I'm going to just recap a little bit because I think these top three things are super crucial to your business. One, keep it personal. So in every aspect, keep it personal, whether that's you keeping it personal on this team page, whether that's you keeping it personal on your Facebook post, or it's you being personal in all of your relationships. Sorry, Zoe popped up here. <laughs> Two, keep your blinders on. And I don't know if you've ever heard of this before, but it can be really, really detrimental to your business if you compare to other people's business. We are all on our own journey together. We're here to love and support each other. Um, I don't personally follow a lot of people um, who are on my team, but I will go to their page on like and stuff and spread my love. But I personally don't follow them because I want to make sure that my blinders are on and I'm focusing on helping myself and paying it forward and loving on them, even if it's not always on their Facebook posts. Um, keeping blinders on, yes, comparison is the thief of joy. And I struggled with this a lot in my last business because why was I not at the top yet? Why was I not a silver ambassador yet? Why was I not a gold ambassador? Or Maybe. So do not let that cloud your judgment. You are doing such amazing things right now. You are amazing. You are worth it. You are going to kill this journey because you have so much passion and love and you're going to spread that on to everybody else. So put those blinders on. Obviously surround yourself with people who love and support you. Be a part. I don't know what just happened. Sorry. I said my connection was low. Um, I think it's really important to keep those blinders on because everyone's journey is so different. So for me, I've personally grown my network in the last three and a half years and continue to. So I've built a lot of trust with my audience, which are my friends, friends of friends, my family. So it's going to take time, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to get to your goal. It's just going to be different. We all come from different backgrounds. We come from different stories. So do not let someone else's, um, not joy, but like 
their successes deter you that you're not going to make it because you are. You are changing lives. You are here. You are present. You're on this call or maybe you're listening to this call. You are changing lives. So put those blinders on. Focus on what you need to do every day. You know, follow-ups, business posts. I personally don't cold message people. If you want to, that's that's okay. I just don't do that. I like to build my trust within the relationships because let's be real relationships are key to all of this all of this and then three consistency consistency in taking your products consistency in your journey of getting healthy consistency in your team page in this team page being present consistency on helping other people building those relationships I would have to say that these are the things that have helped me in the last month and a half and I want these to help you too um I've said um a lot which normally I don't I'm usually a good personal speaker, depending on the day. But, <laughs> yes, warm messages, that's where it's at. Um, I have to say, if you are going to send those warm messages out, comment people, really love onto people, build those relationships, because it's going to take some time. People are going to say no. Some people may jump off their consistent or their convenience order sometimes, but don't let that deter you because they can come back. But creating that personal relationship is going to be what makes them come back. So maybe life happens. They couldn't commit to it. That doesn't mean that they're going away. So don't treat it as they're going away and they're hurting your business or whatever it is because every person in this team and every person that's under you matters. So... I hope these tips help you. Um, I hope that this video was informational and supportive and loving. Um, I know for me that it's always great to learn from other people because it may bring light to something that can help you. And do you guys have any questions? I'm I'm gonna open it up for a few minutes if you guys have any questions if you wanna post below. Um, If not, that's totally okay. If you ever need extra support, please let me know. I'm always here to love on you, pray for you. Um, I think it's great to put two minds together and help branch out because, I mean, some other ways can work for you too. So I love learning from everybody else. So, oh, Crystal, I'm glad. Uh, Rach, absolutely. Relationship marketing. Amen, girl. Absolutely, Kristen. That's so good. Absolutely. I'm so glad that this touched you. That makes me happy. Aw, you guys are so good. I love y'all. Well, good. So, I hope you have a... Why are you... (laughs) Okay, I'm not going to lie. I straightened my hair just a little bit in the front before I hopped on because it was a hot mess. I did not shower until like 4 o'clock today. I work from home. So, (laughs) I was like, I should probably look a little decent for this for later. (laughs) But you guys are amazing. I love you guys so much. Um, If you need anything, please let me know. Your businesses are going to skyrocket this year because you have so much love and passion for helping others and helping yourself get healthy. And I cannot wait to see what happens next. So I'm blessed to be here with you. I hope you guys have a great Friday. Take this into the weekend. Try something new if you need it to work for you. And just spread that light. Love you guys. Bye.